Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is x to the power of 6, this is equal to 5 to the power of 6. So what are the values of x, given that x is not equal to 0? So let's solve for all values of x from here. Now, we have x to the power of 6, this is equal to 5 to the power of 6. Now, we can express x to the power of 6. This is the same thing as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 5 to the power of 6, which we can express as 5 to the power of 3 raised to power 2. The next step is to take 5 to the power of 3 to power 2 on the left-hand side, so that now we have x to the power of 3 raised to power 2 minus 5 to the power of 3 raised to power 2, this is equal to 0. So we find that this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which can be expressed as a plus b, then a minus b. So now this is the difference of two perfect squares with a equal to x to the power of 3 and b equal to 5 to the power of 3. So this implies that a plus b, this is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. And let's call this equation 1. And we have a minus b. This is x to the power of 3. Subtract 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. And let's call this equation 2. So let's solve equation 1. We can call this case 1. So here we have x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. This equation here, this is in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which you can express as a plus b. Then a squared minus ab plus b squared. Let's apply this identity so that now we have x plus 5. Then into the brackets here, we have x squared minus 5x, then plus 5 squared, which is 25. This is equal to 0. We have two parts here. The first part is x plus 5. This is equal to 0. The second part here is x squared minus 5x plus 25. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, x1 is equal to minus 5, which is a real solution here. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 5, and c is equal to 25. So to solve for x2 and x3, let's apply the quadratic formula from here. So applying the quadratic formula here, we have that x2, comma x3, this is equal to minus b plus or minus. We have the square root of, here we have b squared minus 4 is c, everything here divided by 2 times a. Applying Substituting the values of a, b, and c in this formula, then we have minus minus 5 plus or minus the square root of. Now, this is minus 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 25. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So we have minus times minus 5. This is 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared, this is 25, then subtract 25 times 4, this is 100, then divided by 2. So that now, here we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is minus 75 over 2. So here, we can express the square root of minus 75 as, this is 5 plus or minus, 
Now here we have 25 times 3 times minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So that now here we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is 5. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So from here, these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. That is x2 is equal to 5 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2. And x3, this is equal to 5 minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2 here. Now, in case 2, we have x to the power of 3, subtract 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Now, this is the difference of two, 2 cubes here, which is expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b. Then here, we have a squared plus ab then plus b squared. So let's apply this identity. Now this implies that here we have x minus 5. Then here we have x squared plus 5x then plus 5 squared which is 25. Cross the parentheses. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x minus 5. This is equal to 0. The second part here is x squared plus 5x plus 25. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that x4 is equal to 5. This is a real solution. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1 b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 25 so to solve for x5 comma x6 let's apply the quadratic formula here which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c everything here divided by 2 times a so let's substitute the values of a b and c so that now we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of b is 5, so it's 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 25, everything here, over 2 times 1. So here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared, this is 25, minus 25 times 4, this is equal to 100, everything here, divided by 2. So here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100. This is equal to minus 75, divided by 2. So this implies that here we have minus 5 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 75 as 25 times 3 times minus 1 everything here over 2. So here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is equal to 5, square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 2. And this totals to six solutions. Here we have six solutions. Here we have six solutions. And this implies that x1 is equal to minus 5. We have x2, comma x3. This is actually equal to 5 plus or minus 
5i square root of 3 divided by 2. These are two complex solutions. And then we have x4. This is equal to positive 5. This is a real solution here. And x5, this is x5, comma x6. This is equal to minus 5 plus or minus. We have 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. This is another two complex solutions here. And this totals to six solutions. We have four complex solutions and two real solutions. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.